Welcome back, everybody, for another AoE2 DE custom campaign with the Anarchy of King Stephen by Philadelphia. Another two sword campaign, but if uh, the Khmer one was anything to go by, lies. Uh, but I believe this is going to be in a more similar vein to Shimazu, in that I think we're dealing with a huge scenario here that's probably going to be like three parts. Or something like that. I am not too sure. Let's see what we have in store. 1135 CE. Uh, so like, what, 75 years? Oh, after uh, Hastings. ...has died without an heir. While England's barons squabble, the dead king's nephew, Stephen, enters London and is crowned king. King Stephen now faces a challenge that no other English king has faced. Arrayed against him are rebellious earls, the powerful daughter of King Henry, Welsh rebels, and a Scottish invasion. This time would come to be known as the Anarchy. Anarchy! Oh, all right then. Well, I hear the Britain music. Oh, it's so happy. Realm is divided and right. Oh my goodness, look at that mini map. The dead king's daughter, Matilda, once Empress Hi, Matilda. Germany, has seized the south. Ranulf, Ranulf. Ah! in the north. A Welsh uprising and a Scottish invasion. The Scots. The realm. Hey, it's the Tower of London. And any other claimants to your throne. This will show the world that you are ordained to oh. rule all of England. Yay, <laughs> The trade routes have been quieted by the Oh, what is this lumber camp filthy? You will not be able to construct markets for trade and must instead seek out holy relics to garner the church. Oh no. Ready. Yay, Gadara. Equal and Gadara. Okay, so I guess we have control of London. Oh. Capture enemy castles by damaging them to half strength. The, the villagers are literally getting stuck inside the statue of the lion. Okay. I'm just waiting until they're done uh, telling me stuff so I can check the objectives. Capture t 0 to 10 castles to unite the realm. Okay, so it's kind of like Shimazu then. And prepare for a new claimant. Uh, damage capsul capsules to castle them or something. And uh, we're not going to worry about the challenges until we're, you know, not dead or something. You have a starting pop limit of 50, but each castle you capture increases your limit by 20. You can obtain up to 250. It's going to be really important to get castles early on. Like, you know, the difference between 50 and 70 is massive. It's like, what, 40%? Whereas, you know, the difference between, you know, 175 and 195 or whatever, it's not as important. So we need to get, like, a couple castles pretty quickly. Uh, the Britain civilization has been modified to reflect the Normans. Uh, longbowmen are trainable at the archery range. Norman knights, a stronger variation of knights, are trained at the castle, and you may train sergeants and construct donjons. Oh, cool. I would like playing with the new sergeants and donjons. And a new claimant will threaten us later on. Okay, we have to be strong enough to resist this. Trade is impossible and gold mines are rare. Find and secure relics to generate gold. Oh, boy. Subjugating Wales and Ireland is not necessary to win, but will provide additional resources, especially gold. Okie dokie. Stephen of Blois uh, has hastily been coronated King of England after the death of the sonless King Henry, last son of William the Conqueror. Joined by his brother, the Bishop of Winchester, and his wife, Matilda of Boulogne, Stephen controls London but little else. King Henry Sauter, the Empress Matilda... Wait, we really have two Matildas? Haha. <laughs> Claims the, you know, to rule England and has lots of supporters in the south, and she has stuff. The powerful Earl of Chester, Ronulf, is much in the, is he, he's in the north. Uh, Marcher Lord protecting England's borders, uh, probably Sicilians then. Uh, King David of Scotland uh, is going to be from Scotland, and he supports Matilda. The Welsh are in Cyan. And they're not necessary to defeat, okay? The Irish High King has little concern, but... And Stephen cannot dedicate resources to crossing the Irish Sea. Okay. And Normandy lies across the channel and is not a threat. However, if a new claimant were to arise... Okay, that would be plenty sensical to me. Equilin. Queen Matilda. Not Empress Matilda. 
Oh, these are the Norman Knights. Or whatever. 180 HP, 14 attack, 2, 2 armor. So it's essentially a fully upgraded paladin, except one less pierce armor. Or, no. It's a paladin with bloodlines. We don't have any upgrades on them yet. But the Tower of London is not a castle. Can make sergeants. We'll definitely do that. Alright, everyone's in feudal age except for Normandy, who's probably just not going to do anything until they invade us later. Let's get more villagers on Choppa. There's a boar. Yeah, sure, let's go lure that. I mean, I know I said we should be taking uh, castles down quickly, but can't really do that until we can get them to castle age. Oh, come now. Okay, there's the coast. In Dover. Whoa. Kelt sheep bonus, guys. They're trying to lame me. Okay. Oh, wait, I can build a market. I probably just can't build trade carts. That's fine. There's some stone. I guess we can construct donjons instead of towers. Or we can make both. All right. That's fine. We have a blacksmith already. Guess we'll use our good old uh, scouting monk on the hunt for relics. I guess we'll focus on Empress Matilda first, because she seems to be the closest. Okay. More sheeper, jeeper, jeepers. Yeah, let's get a better lumber camp. Whoops. Whatever. Now, is there no gold on the map? There's gold! There be gold in them there hills! Okay, let's go get some. Oh, well, okay, that's a bit of a multi-sheep fail. Can we not construct a dock? No, we cannot. And yeah, we only have a pop limit of 50 right now. Click up after this villager. Mandatum. Oh, yeah, there we go. Train these That's pretty sick. Range. Oh, what? Oh, hey, a relic. Let's get some ranges over here. Because London, I mean, it doesn't really offer us much. I mean, the Tower of London doesn't do anything. Can only be trained okay. Castle. Use the stables to recruit lighter cavalry. Cavalrymen. Well, let's, let's get some longbowmen first. Uh, we can also add in some sergeants potentially, but they're going to be really expensive on the food cost. And I feel like just getting some longbowmen out and uh, some rams is going to be important. Do see yellow over here. Kind of imagine that there was a road leading to yellow that way. Probably one that way. Oh. Oh. Well then. Alrighty. Okay, look, we'll build, build a siege workshop. There we go. Uh, can we take you? 
Oh, hey, it's Henry. Good old Henry. Hey, where did he go? Come back here, Henry. Stop being lazy. This land is yours to rule, so it would be wise to not inflict unnecessary damage against the hamlets of the realm. Well, sorry. and the countryside will surrender to you. Yeah, we're already getting close to our pop limit. Oh no. Let's also get some stone miners. I had some more sheep. I'm. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's a castle. I was right. Yeah, whatever. Ready, Equilon. Greater Golden. Get Boosaw. I just really don't want to have to be dealing with uh, 50 pop. Oh, they have a TC. Castle Age. None of them else. None of the other guys are in Castle Age yet, so that's good for us. Already at 46 pop, man. Okay. Making headway. Oh yeah, what happened over here? Oh, whoa, they're just ha they're just all hanging out over there. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. Let's get another monk. Need to be on the hunt for relics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, they don't have uh, murder holes yet. Let's get that. Let's get a university. You're out. Ooh, you get a couple hundred gold. Oh, okay, that's how we get our knights. The castle can also be used to recruit Norman knights, powerful and expensive cavalrymen. Yeah, let's definitely get some of those guys. We may add in sergeants later, but let's just start with those uh, Norman knight guys for now. Okay, cleaned up that without too much issue. Uh, let's just send a longbowman around, like, this whole area, see what's up. Ready. Get the geesers. And let's just keep going, because obviously, like, the first castle is the most important to take, but it's still going to be important to be, I think, pretty quick in this. The map is freaking huge, though. So I do not doubt that this will be very long. <laughs> oh! Well, howdy-ho there! Howdy-ho, my bro! Oh, there's also more stone over that way. Oh, you're under attack. Uh oh. Um, let's get my. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, these guys are pretty amazing. Oh, wait, where are you guys going? Are you going all the way over here? Oh, of course, these guys don't have a hotkey. Okay, I guess we'll just go back to work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Sicilians, they're not even renamed Normans, feels bad, man. Oh, that's not good. Most of them are in Castle Age. Yeah, Knights and Longbowmen sound sound good. Get him. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're already getting towards max pop. I want donjons. I want donjons and dragons. This is Yeoman, right? Yeah. Okay, we have our second relic. The well shop pricing is not a priority, but putting it down could help secure the resources of Wales. Destroy the Welsh buildings in time. I remember from like the very beginning, there's Eltilda over here. This seems like a bit of a dead end. Some more relevant upgrades. Yeah, I mean, losing London is whatever. I kind of just want to make sure we secure our starting area. Do these guys regenerate? Alas, alas, they do not. Well, at least, you know, we have a decent amount of gold income just based in relics. Going this way. Let's see what we got. Let's get a forward workshop here. Because, uh, yeah, those guys are turbo dead. Okay, Matilda has the highest score. But she doesn't have any armor upgrades. And once we get Leather Arch Armor, we're going to be having a pretty decent edge in the actual Longbowman shootout. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, they can be converted. That's not good. Oh, there's another relic. Let's get a forward donjon. Freaking overlapping hotkeys. Oh, they're trying to get the relic. Okay, well, that's nice. Oh, yeah, rams. Duh. Get some more of you guys. Iron casting. We could also switch over into... Um, sergeants. For some tankiness. I mean, they're going to be expensive, but not as expensive as some other stuff. Whoops. Nope. Wrong one. Here we are. Wait a minute. I just saw a bunch of pikemen run by. I don't know. Oh, well, here they come, but hopefully our donjons can be enough here. Uh-oh. Ready, 
Help! <laughs> Okay, well, let's see. Is, is there a castle nearby? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, yes, there is. Alright. Let's build another dungeon. You can bring that back to here. There we go. 90 pop. And we get both of these dungeons as well. Noise. Okay, we're a little low on the lumberjack count right now. But, you know, things could be going worse. We should think about him. Thought about it. Done it. Oh, you know what? Longbowman, Garrison, and Donjons is going to be insane. Okay, that we can deal with. So many sheepers! The stable here. Let's just make a scout so we can see what's up, because I, I don't remember where anyone else is. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of arrows there. Ready. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Where is our next target? Oh, get him! Ready. Hold him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else over that way. Oh, also relics. We're still gonna want to be on the hunt for that. Why do I keep hitting the wrong hotkey? Oh, well, that didn't go so well. But now we know which uh, direction to go to next. Guilds is going to be our friend, that's for sure. What? Swearing fealty to you has landed with a small expedition in Ireland. His impetuous invasion could be beneficial if he is able to establish control over the island and its resources. Okay, so do we have an ally? Oh. This is us. We have to do the uh, expeditioning. Defeat the Irish. Guild's done yet? Okay. Wait, what? 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 Uh, what? Did we lose this? Um... I'm so confused.
Let's see what autosave does for us, I guess. Maybe we have... It doesn't say we have to protect the Tower, the tower of London. I guess we might have to, but that was so weird. It was so sudden. Get you. Try and get more than three lumberjacks. I wonder if that is the case. And if that is the case, we gotta get our butts moving. Probably just a wonder, so it's probably insanely expensive to repair. I mean, that's a big old army. Okay, those guys don't have upgrades. These guys do. like ASAP. Oh, at least they stopped attacking the tower for the time being. Bodkin, or Bracer, rather. Can keep, I guess, preparing our forces to go this way. Oh, at least... Oh, okay, this guy, yeah. Has landed with a small expedition in Ireland. His impetuous invasion could be beneficial if he is able to establish control over the island and its resources. Okie dokie. Let's keep these monks alive. I said, let's keep these monks alive. Oh, it's High King Turlo. Do I win? Did I win the video game? Evidently not. Whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, let's try repairing that. Get chemistry. Let's get that and that. Oh my god. It's Robert Giscard! He's back! He's back in multiple iterations! Um, I don't know, mine some stone. There's some gold over here. Let's just do our best to keep these guys healed up. I guess they're turning the woods out of the barracks. Okay, that went down. Uh, let's get 
that. Get a conscription, I suppose. What? Attack! Okay, guys can make it over that way. Okay, everyone else is now an Imperial Lady. I don't remember seeing any notifications, but uh, that seems to be the case. Let's get Siege Engineers. I assume we don't kill the villagers because they're going to join our side. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get plus four defense, especially for Robert Giscard. And that's Werewolf, so that's still regular Britain stuff. Oh no! Come on, guys. Um, I guess. Oh, those guys are all dead. Um, That's just a deer. Bolden, they see me. Bolden, they hate him. Guess we'll get fortified wall for the Tower of London. Okay. We are going to get some more archery ranges over here. Oh. Oh. Oh, nope. These guys aren't dead yet. My monks are dead, though, so the other time in this world is probably quite short. Wait, no, they do regen. But I mean, if they're just infinite spamming Woad Raiders and Skirmishers, then I feel like I'm eventually going to die. Especially because I would have to manually target them every single time. Yeah, it's probably just a lost cause. Oh wait, there's another relic! Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait, why are my dungeons so weak? Oh, no, because these were converted non-Johns. Let's do all the selling. Let's get elite elbows. Oh, wait, I get that at the uh, archery range. Uh, I mean, that's doing all right still, I guess. Got our knights. Our knights. Oh, yeah, the challenge to not win without building any trebuchets. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. Okay. 
Contact. Don't know why our gold has to be so freaking limited. Okay, this is a lot of capture hams. I should probably fill out the rest of my pop space with stuff that kills things. Then. Okay, let's see if we can nab this guy. Oh, there's gold over there! Wait, did someone else take the relic? What? Nevertheless. Okay, you guys can abandon that job for this one. Yay! Tower of London is now officially safe. Well, that is a little bit of a stronger army than I had initially hoped. Well, good thing we got guilds right away. I guess we should add in some sergeants, but I don't know if we can get elite sergeant ever, which is kind of a bummer. Because, yeah, castle age sergeants aren't going to be all that great in imperial age. Duh. Some knights, I guess. I mean, this is pretty much just a kill zone. Also, why is I think arrow slits isn't affecting the donjons as much as it should. Because normally it affects them in the same way that it affects keeps, but in this case it's only affecting it as much as a watchtower. Okay, let's just make some more knights then I guess, if we can't make elite sergeants. Oh my god, there's gold there! Oh my god, I missed it. Oh, you're probably all laughing at me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they get elite sergeants. Oh, these guys are now here to mine. Right, back to work. Oh, here are the Welsh. Oh, you guys are still alive. Cool. Go for it, my dudes. More stone there as well. Oh my god, why? I mean, we'll have to just sacrifice that donjon. 
Soldaten. Let's see if Yeoman affects Donjons. I have no idea. Oh no. No! Crap! Holy crap, that's a big army. Oh no. Yeah, those knights have plus four, plus four and everything. Clearly I need to push out with a bigger army. Um, I'm already getting close to my max pop. Alrighty. Oh, did the uh, did the Irish just run out of resources with my? Duo of Robegi scards. Yeah, we really need are needing some more pop space at this point. Okay. Making progress. Much of Ireland has Yay! been defeated by your Norman vassal. The gales of the island now work towards your ends. Cool. Wow, that was a lot less climactic than I thought. I just thought they were totally screwed. Everything going hunky dory over here? Yeah, I don't know what I do with these guys now. Get those rams! Alright, time to uh, enter full coward mode and get warwolf trebs. Or at least trebs to start with. Uh oh. Uh, you guys gonna do alright? Oh, it does affect it! Those are Celt Siege Onagers! Um, go get them? Um, I don't know. Oh no. Go, Scout Cav! Oh, they're attacking me there, too. Go, go! I don't know what's that way.
I just need to get to half health, remember. There we go. Oh! Sick! Well, alrighty then. I guess we've stabilized enough at this point. Kinda, sorta, a little bit at least. So I think this is going to be a good spot to call it for episode one of this. Oh boy. Quite a grueling new adventure, but at least we have most of southern England. But yeah, we're going to call it here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.